different uh, political parties at the Constitutional Council. Now we take a look at the hearing of the post-election post petitions that was uh, yesterday, the last day of the hearing. Ino Senazi has more. The Constitutional Council of the Republic of Cameroon is now expected to deliver results of the October 7, 2018 presidential election latest Monday after rejecting all 18 petitions tabled before it for partial and total cancellation of the election. The three days post electoral petitions hearing with third phase began Thursday at 10 a.m. and ended at 2.30 a.m. Friday witnessed the rejection of Joshua Osei's petition for total cancellation of the October 7 election based on grounds that Anglophone Cameroon did not participate freely. However, the petition was termed admissible. According to the verdict passed on by Clement Atangana, the complaint on the violation of fundamental human rights to vote in the northwest and southwest regions was discarded by the council as unfounded because it was established that voting took place in both regions with 5.5% and 15% participation rate in the northwest and southwest regions respectively. The College of CPGM and NECAM Defense Lawyers refuted the election was apartheid as described by Joshua Osi. If Cameroon is truly one and indivisible, then Cameroon did not vote. What happened on the 7th of October is tantamount to apartheid. The Constitutional Council wrote that this did not lead to faking of results obtained. Before this, the session was interrupted at 6 p.m. to render the verdict on the CRM petition of Professor Maurice Camto, who called for partial cancellation of the presidential election in seven divisions due to massive frauds and irregularities witnessed. The council as well rejected Camto's petition for lack of evidence. 2018 presidential election in the Republic of Cameroon and you heard O.C. Joshua in his statement at the Constitutional Council yesterday qualifying the unfolding of the election as uh, appetite uh, notably considering the fact that the Northwest and the Southwest region according to the Social Democratic Front did not take part in that election. Now greater details on O.C. Joshua's statement in the following excerpt. I've been looking for this seal all over because I've been to other constitutional councils and the majesty of it is that the seal of the Republic, what this council stands for, is right up there somewhere. But I was astonishingly surprised and realized that I am rather, I rather feel to be in the annex of the campaign headquarters of a fellow candidate by virtue of the picture on the wall of my own constitutional council. I want to mention that this is rather unfortunate because it's not what it's supposed to be. We are here today because of an election in which we had eight candidates and one head of state presented as a candidate. And yet we are pretending as if we had nine candidates. Eight candidates one head of state. Eight candidates on their own, one head of state using the entire government, army, police, and state resources to maintain himself in power. Just by virtue of the conduct of this election, taking cognizance of the state means put in place to maintain the incumbent in power, Your Highness, Mr. President, could have saved us all of this time we're spending here. Honorable O.C. Joshua, first vice president of the Social Democratic Front, SDF political party and presidential candidate of that uh, party, speaking there at the Constitutional Council, one of his uh, lawyers, the lead counsel. Are you saying that if this court upheld this your arguments, and decided to cancel the elections, I don't know whether nationally or in that part of the country, within the legally stipulated time, elections can take place, the administration or the people, security can come back, and so it's done. I want to give you a fair and honest answer, Your Lordship. It can. Your Lordship. Let's look at each other in the eyes. 
Let's tell the President of the Republic that he is the father of this nation. Let him take a microphone and talk to those children. Tell that my children, the children of the Northwest and Southwest, I have hurt your problem. Come out of the bushes. Let schools go on. I will look into it. I know my brothers and sisters of the Northwest and Southwest region, your lordship, those children will come out of the bushes and start singing on the streets in Bamenda and in the Southwest. Say, Papa, don't talk. Miss Oman, talk again. Let the head of state address them. We don't even need 20 days. In five days, you can reorganize elections. Let him talk to them like a father. I don't even want, let him come to Bamenda and go to Boya, as he did in Marwa. That is the president of the republic. He's the father of all the children. Come on, dit the procureur. Le procureur est l'enfant de mauvais et de bons enfants. C'est tous ses enfants. He's the father of all the children, the good ones and the bad ones. Those who complain and those who support him. Let Barrister Summer Francis, lead counsel of Honorable O.C. Joshua, speaking there at the Constitutional uh, Council, and uh, Professor Elvis Ngolengole, political scientist and member of the Cameroon People's Democratic Movement, CPDM political party, equally spoke during that uh, hearing of post-election petitions, and he simply indicated that contrary to the stance of the Social Democratic Front, elections took place in the two regions of the country. Listen to him. Those of us, citizens of the Republic of Cameroon, who believe in the preservation of the Republic, the Republic that was legated to us by the Founding Fathers, we could say, based on the numbers that you've got, that we succeeded in the spirit of the Republic and in conformity with the law, to convince a good number of our fellow citizens in the Northwest and in the Southwest regions that in the spirit of a Republic, it was our Republican duty as citizens of this Republic to go and vote because an election is a call for the citizens to make a free choice as to who has to govern them or who has to rule them. The CPDM campaign delegation uh, commission in the Southwest region did the best it could and that the citizens of the Southwest region did take part in the 7th of October elections in the spirit of the Republic and in conformity with electoral law. Mr. President, from what I know and from what I've experienced in the last 24 months in the Southwest region in particular, and I would say in our sister region of the northwest um, of the northwest we have two forces at play one force which is a force that believes in preserving the republic and preserving the republic in unity in peace and in justice and we of the cpdm in the southwest and in the northwest regions, we have worked for that peace, we have worked for that justice, we have worked for security for all. Professor Elvis Ngolengole speaking there, and in the same vein, Colonel Sony Ajay, representing the Ministry of Defense, equally indicated that the military did everything. All uh, dispositions or measures were taken to ensure that elections uh, take place in the two Anglophone regions of the country. Listen to Colonel Sony Ajay. The defense and security forces of our country did what it could to ensure that the essential measures of security are taken to ensure that elections of this magnitude are held everywhere in the country. For sure, we would have done better that each human work has shortcomings. Elections actually took place under security measures put in place by the Ministry of Defense in the two English-speaking regions. 
I think you are all aware of the statistics that we're giving. 5% in the Northwest and 15% in the Southwest. I want to use this opportunity to say that the Cameroon Defense Forces are not answerable to the percentage of elections in any locality. They are answerable to the minimum security that's supposed to be provided for citizens to affect their civic. And I want to highlight the fact, Mr. President and honorable members of this council, that all the presidential candidates, I mean all, I didn't hear any of them who said something against the indivisibility of the country. They all are for one and indivisible Cameroon. And I think that is the role of the Cameroon Defense Forces. That, is the that was the role yesterday. That's the role today. And that will be the role tomorrow. And this irrespective of the political coloration. Meantime, the opposition political parties, notably the Cameroon Renaissance Movement, CRM political party, decried the point that they requested for security or protection from the military to carry on with campaigns and, of course, to send the representatives to the northwest and southwest regions of the country to no avail. But Colonel Ajay spoke and indicated that in the case of the CRM in particular, the a letter to the Minister of Defense requesting for military protection in violation of the law in place. They were supposed to write to the administration that will instruct the military uh, to take the necessary dispositions for them to be able to get to the northwest and the southwest regions of the country. And news just streaming in from the nation's political capital, Yaoundé, indicates that the President of the Constitutional Council of the Republic of Cameroon, Justice Clement Atangana, said that the results of the October 7, 2018 presidential election in Cameroon will be made public on Monday. Now we talk about the deepening Anglophone uh, crisis with killings, torture, and of course destruction of properties continuing in the two Anglophone regions of the country. This time around, the residence of the national chairman of the Social Democratic Front SDF political party, John Frundin, in his native Bama Tu village in the Mezam division of the Northwest region came under a fire. Unidentified gunmen reportedly masterminded the act and they also went as far as kidnapping John Frundi's uh, younger sister, uh, Christy Akum, according to sources uh, on the ground, fighters loyal to the ADF have not claimed responsibility of the arson attack and abduction, but accusing fingers are pointing at them. And this is happening four days after the chairman's driver, uh, Salifu Waziri, was shot on the knee around food markets in the northwest regional capital, Bamenda. The inhabitants of Bakokoyabaki of the Dibombari uh, subdivision in the Mongo division of the littoral region of the Republic of Cameroon are sending a distress call to the government to provide them with the necessary amenities to ease their living conditions and the population are in lack of portable water and other social amenities as Manjikan Gebre reports. Best push forward by Spain during the Spanish presidency of uh, the European Union in 2010 in order to fight against piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. So we started with the creation of an action plan to fight piracy in the Gulf of Guinea, and after that it has been very normal. At least uh, the uh, arrival to the port of Douala of one or two vessels every year. So this is uh, in the framework of this plan of action again for fighting against piracy and uh, normally we have uh, the uh, presence of one Spanish vessel in uh, the first half of the year and another in the second half of the year. So this is the second vessel that has visited Douala uh, in, in 2009 to reinforce and to increase the number of ties between Spain and the number of links between the, Span the Spanish and Cameroonian army and especially is quite good in the, in the field of the Navy.
it was more like that was rather the Spanish ambassador to Cameroon speaking there on the cooperation ties between Spain and Cameroon, notably in the area of uh, the military. And he was speaking after a Spanish Navy uh, vessel docked the Dweller seaport within the context of strengthening military ties between Cameroon and uh, Spain, notably to enhance the fight against maritime piracy in the Gulf of Guinea. Now we come back to Smart Njik and Gibri with the report on the living conditions of inhabitants of the Bakoko Yabaki uh, neighborhood in the Bombari subdivision, Mongo division of the littoral region of Cameroon. We are at the gateway into the littoral region from the southwest region of Cameroon. Life seems to be going on normally at the small locality known as Bakoko Yapaki under the Bombari subdivision from the looks of things with off licenses and other business places booming. The commercial motorcycle riders ready to transport persons into the quarters. Unfortunately, Bakoko Yapaki, found under the Mongo division, is in need of portable drinking water with all taps dry. It is at this stream that water is being collected for use and the inhabitants are not comfortable owing to the unsafe nature of the source from where they get the water. And that's why we not get we water. We not get no nothing like water for you. Apart from the problem of water, Bakoko Yapaki lacks schools and hospitals. We get so many troubles the way they work. We'll stay with us. Goodbye.